Hello everyone, this is Ismail here. Today I will be talking about how my customizable wall system in Unity works. So first of all, you need to drag and drop a new SK Battlement prefab to, to your scene and simply place it where you want it to be. And then you need to enter the edit mode, first of all, to edit wall structure, length, skewings, leaning, center, battlements, and crenellations. So you go, you go there. Let's place it a little bit more accurate, let's say. And then you have wall structures, which is like to make it continuous or like, you know, like a single wall. Thickness of the wall, the taper rate of the wall, skirt depth of the wall, and your wall can be either built like a mud or really small, like or really smooth surfaces. So if, if it's kind of built with mud or something like that, you have this distortion option here, where you you are where you are able to distort your your mesh. And for the other option, you have the smoothness. As you can see, you are able to smooth your mesh out. And I think the structure looks good. And for the speaking for the length, you can either play with the beneath length or bow length or both of them at the same time, which is which is not a problem at all. And this is it. I'm just liking it by default, so I'm not gonna touch it. Skewings actually works like the same way. You can either skew the left or right with the which direction you want to, to go. And you have wall leanings to either left or right, so you can make your walls lean aside, either left or right. You are able to modify the, the center look of your, of your walls. If you want a bump outwards, you can do that. At the same time, you can have one for the vertical escalation, escalation sorry, for the, for the center of it. And finally, not actually finally, but you can you are able to edit the battlement, um, these battlements here, like their thickness, their length, either either ordered like uniform or disordered like this. As you can see, one of them is like more topping, and the other is just staying same. and you have the, another variant like this. And you can, you are able to play with these middle skirts here about, which is, which is kind of good. Actually to compare, let's, let me put a 180 human to the scene and you will see that this asset, like this wall is already huge comparing to a regular human like this and let's have another one here. You can see this is like a little bit of huge, which I like it. And speaking of which, let's return to our battlement and let's compare these two again. Okay. And this is the environment, like the scale comparison. And then finally, you can. Uh, edit the crenellations depth and length. So let's go with the way which is more you are comfortable with. But I pretty like this. I like this. Um, so I'm just baking this all the way down. So you have your options here to to decimate your base mesh create a mesh collider and um, vert vertex color baking and creating for beams. Let's actually uh, decimate this mesh with proper options. Like you have your decimation mesh quality, like this is the percentage of the source and your, your, your final look. And decimate max iterations is the maximum iteration amount of like the heuristic search of decimation algorithm. I like them to leave uh, in the in the like these three for the uh, for the default, but let's for the decimation. Let's say like seventy five percent, 
and decimate mesh as you can see it's decimated the mesh and the uh, vertex count it and it displays the vertex count and trees count which is like the the ui itself is pretty sensitive and um context sensitive and smart and you can also revert uh, decimation and you know go the way you want and then you have this option here to bake mesh collider as you can see here i also like to look this mesh collider pan like the, the the gizmo with physics debug as you can see like these it's like light gray good um like if you if you like this um mesh collider you can live with that or just revert it and reset mesh color like sorry mesh collider backing options or you know make it more quality as you can see but i'm always uh, recommending everyone to keep it either 0.1 or 0.2 and let's actually bake again you can see it works so for these vertex colors i'm gonna close this mesh collider for us to see better of this we have these options here for the array length and detail features and we can always you know set these uh, reset these options and uh, as i said i basically like these way the default so if i go and hit bake vertex colors you will see that the the object is texturing pipeline works with the vertex color so it is it does change it's clear vertex colors and this is how they work and finally we have create beam options here which is basically asking uh, the amount of beams to create for us like let's say eight or something like that like that that's the limit but let's say eight and then you can always randomize these rotation amounts there but let's go with and hit uh, hit create i need to close gizmos to able to see better of those uh yeah those those looks okay for my taste and let's actually uh, play these values a little bit more to get wild get more wild on rotation no beams as you can see like this is really like looking towards the ground while the others, yeah, move beams, add them again, remove beams, add them again, until you like their appearance. C44. Okay. Um, and then, if you like this and leave it as is, and continue creating your level design, and this is how my fully customizable. Uh, so a customizable ball system works.